Uh, okay, so the, the the weed thing, like, you know, whether it, it takes the place of alcohol or not, it probably won't. Mm -hmm. But what, I'm curious to, to, to move into this conversation. Of There are people who say, like, alcohol is terrible. You should not drink it. Other people who think that it is. Some people say weed's terrible and you should, you know, never touch it. Other people, and they all have studies that back it up. Yeah. And then we shift to food, right? Yeah, yeah. And there are people who say, I mean, there are, like, I've got that book in there, How Not to Die, mm, right? And then mm -hmm. How Not to Diet. Phenomenal book, well-written, full of, psycho like, science and all that, and basically proves that any meat will kill you, and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're basically committing suicide by eating meat. Yeah. And then there's the carnivore diet. And they say the exact same thing, and they have studies to back up why eating any vegetable at all, especially kale, is going to kill you, right? Mm. Those are complete opposites, and we have science that prove both. How, how do we make sense as a, somebody who's trying to just live the best life possible? Yeah. How do we make sense of all the conflicting science around food and diet and drink and mm -hmm. everything? It's unreasonably complicated. Yes. You're absolutely right. For the average person, whether whatever specific diet you choose, for the average person they know what to do you know what to do most people know what to do and that you might not know exactly like how much meat should i have what should my macros look like all the the minutia mm -hmm. but everyone knows you shouldn't go eat fast food you shouldn't be binging on ice cream late at night you shouldn't be you know downing oreos and eating a bunch yeah. of crap right like most people know that but yeah. if people just stop doing that it would solve almost i would say 95 percent plus of like people's nutrition problems yeah it's just stop eating dog shit food yeah. like the ultra processed the franken foods that don't even resemble anything close to what grows and yeah. lives on this planet that's where people need to start now for people that i've already started there and you're like all right ryan i'm eating a whole foods diet like i'm not buying a bunch of this junk food i'm not eating out at these terrible restaurant establishments like i'm cooking my own stuff and i'm eating some plants and i'm eating some animal products but like i'm having some issues with this or that well that's where you know it does become really challenging to see what is best technically because there's no perfect diet for everyone yeah we're all unique dude we all thrive on different stuff i was telling ryan here earlier how some of the stuff he's doing with his nutrition he was like hey man what do you think like i've been doing this the last week or so and I'm feeling good but like is this a problem and there are different genetic snips and different genotypes that make it so maybe some people thrive on like a high fat keto type diet with lots of butter and lots of yeah. bacon and lots of fat other people that's going to massively drive up their lipids and make their lipid profile look like trash and could increase their risk of a lot of issues around heart disease there's some people that thrive on a very carnivorous diet like tons of meat other people aren't able to break down that meat very well because of the digestive issues you need a lot of stomach acid to break down red meat so it's very nuanced but from a fundamental perspective i genuinely believe we're all omnivores i've worked with a lot of people that were vegans that came to me for help because their hair was falling out mm, yeah. their teeth were chipping they had no energy they had no sex drive their skin was a mess and i've helped restore their health by bringing in high quality animal products now a lot of vegans can point to you know some celebrity vegan, yeah. you know, Rich Roll or whoever who's been following a vegan diet for 35 years or 150 years, whatever. And they can say, no, 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 look at this dude. Yep. He's doing it. And it's like, yeah, okay, he is. Cool. Does that mean you can do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and does that mean you're going to do it exactly how he does it and take whatever supplements you need to replenish nutrient deficiencies? The way I look at it from a fundamental perspective is we can't get all the nutrition we need from the plant kingdom. Yeah. Certain essential vitamins, essential amino acids and essential fatty acids and just honestly minerals as well. You can't get appreciable amounts of them through a plant diet. Like you'll be functionally deficient in a lot of things. So taking the premise of eat whole foods, most of us are omnivorous, like eat some plants, eat some animals. What percentage of that depends on the person should give people enough of a fundament, fundamental understanding to not allow all the mixed opinions and battles going on between the vegans and the carnivores and all these different diet camps throw them off it's just like dude take action on what you know to be true yeah which is just to like eat a little better and the other thing with your ultimate question of like dude why is all this research so conflicting how can they have a study that shows this and a study that shows that it's because nutrition is just one aspect of health mm -hmm. you know we don't know what the other things those people were doing in the studies yeah they, true. you know whether they were drinking or smoking whether they were exercising whether they had a terrible marriage or a phenomenal relationship whether they are you know had great kids or uh, terrible children that were causing all sorts of stress in their lives and